Hi, welcome back to my channel. I'm gonna use a recipe that I found on Candle Shack. So Candle Shack, for those who don't know, is a British candle supply um, websites. Recently, they started to provide as well recipes. Uh, recipes that are basically tested already and ready to use. So I would not recommend to use them um, blindly. Obviously, you need to do your own testing, but it's a great place to start. So what I'm going to do is follow this recipe. It's everything that I have. I've got this wax and I've got that fragrance oil. I also have those jars. So I'm just going to go ahead and just follow the steps. I will uh, put the link of that recipe in the description below so you can also have access to it and get it as a pdf come on let's get to it okay so i've got my presto pot um i put the link in this description below this one is from amazon it has a, a uk plug and the sprout i love this thing it's really, really fast and it's full with S41. S41 is this wax. This is the wax we're using for this recipe. Again, I'll put the link in the description below. This is what is already in my melter. This fragrance, so this is going to be black plum and rhubarb. We're going to use the Lottie 30 centiliter glue stickers. The L12 wick, something to stir. A thermometer always your best friend making candle you can't do them without this centering tools and for later when we make the daisies i've got my silicone mold yellow dye from this one is for cozy owl but you can also get it on candle shack eco soya pillar blend from senso ben candle there we go i'm gonna pour in the pitcher 404 grams of wax. I've checked of course that it's at the right temperature before doing this so it's exactly at 60 degrees which is the temperature required for pouring and straight away the thing with this wax with S41, which is the one we are using for this recipe, is that it needs to cool to 31 degrees Celsius before you can pour it into the jars. We're currently at 46. Okay, so why this wax is cooling down, I'm gonna get started on making my daisies. So the daisies I'm gonna make unscented and you're gonna ask me why. Well, I'm gonna make them unscented because the scents stay in silicone molds. So if I use a scented wax to make them, I'm gonna kind of damage my molds. Those are gonna be tiny, teeny. So you need a wax that is gonna pop out. So you need a hard pillar wax. My Ecosaya pillar blends I'm gonna use a double boiler. I'm, I don't need much, very small amounts of pellets. Because I'm gonna do the yellow first, and then I will do my white. So for the yellow, I'm just gonna need a tiny amount, really. So I'm just gonna put like a few pellets, because no point in wasting it, right? And I'm just gonna start and put it to melt. I'm go with the bright bright yellow so it's a tiny amount of wax so i'm just gonna go with like a chip like this i'm gonna put it straight into my my wax it's gonna be melted in seconds so because those are really really small i'm gonna use a pipette and i'm gonna go and drop the yellow wax at the center of the flower for the one where the center is too small so the one in the middle 100 percent too small and those one, I think it might be just about, this is gonna be difficult, this one is okay. The rest, I go. I will go over them and paint with an acrylic paint the yellow for the small one. So, and bring it closer to where you're gonna work. Turn off the heat, here we go.
I'm gonna go with like maybe that much wax. So my wax is melted. I'm gonna go with a new pipette. And we're gonna fill this one up. Okay, here we go. This is all filled now as much as I could. Very, very hard to get into all the little details. 31. Get, let's get ready to pour now. 220 gram per jar. All right, so we will let those set and come back. This is already cold, but I'm gonna let them set a little bit longer to maximize my chances to not break them. Now it's time to demold our daisy. Pull on each side. Be very, very gentle here. Yay! Look at that. Cute. The small one, they don't have color. I will add it later. Just pop with your finger at the bottom and it should pop right out. It's really really hard to get them perfect at that size because it's so small oh this one fully broke i've got a casualty oh no we've got a casualty but i might be able to am i gonna be able to put it back up maybe Oh, it's so cute. This is it. We've got our daisies. Okay. All right, so this is going to be tiny, tiny, tiny work. It's a few hours later, we've got our daisies and we've got our candle. So I'm just going to use my heat gun and melt the top. That should do. And I'm going to go ahead and position the daisies. So, are you ready to see what they look like? They turned out amazing. Are you ready? I'm absolutely obsessed. If you enjoyed this video, don't forget to like it and don't forget to subscribe. I'll see you very soon. Bye bye.